glorious morning. Thank you for joining me. Uh, truth be told here. Father God, my goodness, I just have this gratitude because I know that every single day is a gift, Lord. I pray that I stay present, Father God, that every single day is an opportunity that I have that you give me, Lord, to expand your kingdom on earth, Father God. Just stay grateful, Father God, for everything that I have, Lord, whether I like it or not, Lord. Help me to stay humble. Help me to continue to seek your face, Father, today and every single day of my life. Let all who have breath praise your holy, glorious name today, Father. I pray that you speak through me in the glorious, mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. So, it says that uh, where there are two or more gathered in my name, right? They talk about an agreement. So, have you ever noticed when you go walking with someone? I walk with my sister sometimes. She's an avid walker and runner. Um, and we walk at a very fast pace. When you walk with someone, how can two walk together if they're not in agreement? So, you know, you're either going to adjust to their pace or they're going to adjust to yours. But you got to adjust to someone's pace. I pray that we adjust to God's pace. We have to be in agreement with God. It says in John 15, 7, it says, If you abide in me and I abide, and you abide in my words, you ask... <laughs> I messed it up. It says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will wish for and it will be given to you. Hallelujah. You see, I wanted to share something with you all. Sometimes uh, in life, we allow the proof of something in our circumstances to become our reality. I mean, let's be real. We live in this world. We're not of it, but we live in it, right? We have real circumstances that affect our daily lives every single day. But I want us to know something. Uh, when we allow our circumstances, the proof of our circumstances that are real, I have a lot of a lot of pushback on this, uh, but it's what God tells us to do. And we allow it to be our reality, then we start to act upon that reality. But whenever we redirect our focus on the God who controls and holds the whole world in his hands, and we start to see things not on our ability and our circumstances, but on his ability, <laughs> now everything starts to shift. Because now we're looking at things through the perspective of God, through his ability to change our circumstance. Because we know that we can't do nothing about our circumstance, which of course is going to lead us to worry, to fear, to just have anxiety about it. But that's why God says, do not fear for he is with us. It's not about our might, but his might, his ability, his strength, his power to fix our circumstance and to change our circumstance. So even though our circumstance may not change, just the hope of knowing that he's in control and that he loves us changes the way we see our circumstance. And man, I don't know about y'all, but I'd rather be in that arena because stuff is going to happen to every single one of us. Life is going to come at us. But how we react to it tells us if we really have our faith and our trust in God. Is it in you or your ability to fix it? My ability or in God's ability. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to stay real close to my Heavenly Father because I know that He can do, I can do all things through Him, and I know that He's going to move on my behalf because His words abide in me, and I abide in His words. And I'm not perfect, honey. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, I trust in Him. And I pray that you start to trust in Him today with every situation in your life and start allowing His ability and start seeing through His eyes today in everything you do. I am on Ability Avenue and Trust Road. Where are you at? Holla.